All right, this is uh, this is Hosea chapter 9, verse 13. It says, Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted, planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderers. Gun. We're going to face the east. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Yahweh Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostle GMS who grew well. Salute your brothers pushing this word. And truth sincerely defense by Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. Thank you, sisters and brothers, listening and learning, growing in the faith and the spirit and power. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you too. All right? We are here to prophesy the downfall of the wicked destructive kingdom known as Babylon the Great, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Rome, all those ancient empires bought up into one controlled by Esau, Edom, so-called white man. That's their biblical nationality. All right? We are here to gather the elect by the word and power of Yahweh Shinawashai, which consists of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Those are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the King James Bible. Okay? And I'm going to have the brother read that again. All right. This is Hosea chapter 9, verse 13. It says, Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. So when you go back during the time of uh, Solomon, uh, after Solomon gave up the ghost, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom were split. Okay. And you had uh, Judah over the southern kingdom, and you had Ephraim over the northern kingdom, okay? After Solomon uh, gave up the ghost, okay? The two kingdoms split. Now, Ephraim is the head of the northern kingdom, okay? Which consists of Ephraim, you got Zebulon, Gad, Simeon, so on and so forth, Isabel, so on and so forth. Naphtali, Asher, you know what I'm saying? Just to throw a few out there, okay? So, whenever you see Ephraim, which Ephraim is the Puerto Rican, but in this case, it's dealing with the whole 10 tribes, in this case, okay? But, brother got a, a, a video he wants to uh, bring out and, uh, and uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, uh, and then I have him read it again and I'll break the script down and we'll talk about it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, um, we were talking right before the camera came on, you know, and uh, Elder had mentioned something about uh, Carmela going down to uh, Guatemala, you know, and how they had protesters out there. You know, with signs and stuff telling her to, you know, mind her own business. You know what I'm saying? Go, uh, back, go home. back home. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, when, you know, when the elder mentioned that uh, about, you know what I'm saying, about the, uh, I think you said something about the immigration. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, see, three months ago, like on March, you know what I'm saying, there was stuff going on down there at the border. You know what I'm saying? Which everything doesn't get exposed, you know, all the either English channels or, or news, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it's in the Spanish, you know what I'm saying, sometimes they do interviews and stuff like that. Right. So, like three months ago, I came across a video where uh, Ted Cruz, you know, went down there to uh, to the border to see, you know, the, the, the so-called crisis that was going down there, you know what I'm saying, going on with the, you know, the migrants and stuff like that. And uh, so they had a video that they had put out, but I couldn't find the exact video that I've seen that on, you know what I'm saying, I found another version of it, but it had been cut, you know what I'm saying, the video that I had seen three months ago, back in March, you know, it was actually like a 15 minute long video, 20 minute long video, where, you know, Cruz and, and, and uh, you know, some other, you know, Edomites had went down there to the border to kind of film, to kind of let people know what's going on down there, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, they were being taunted, you know what I'm saying, by uh, by uh, the so-called cartels down there, you know what I'm saying, and uh, how they, you know, kept saying, uh, you know, viva, you know, viva Biden, you know what I'm saying, because under 
you know, Biden's administration, you know what I'm saying? As long as the child is under 18 and they're crossed over the border, the they can't do nothing to them. You know what I'm saying? So then they had all these cages over here, you know, putting them in there, you know what I'm saying? And then eventually they started uh supposedly now they're you know they're they're reuniting the families. So them them, them uh the people down there in Guatemala, that's why they're so you know so uh for uh, Trump because that all started under Trump you know what I'm saying but it wasn't pushed out in the media like that you know what I'm saying uh, Trump what he was doing is he was getting everybody prepared for what was gonna happen now you know what I'm saying which this was happening you know what I'm saying way back when Trump was in office talking about we got a crisis of all these migrants coming but little did the people know over here in the United States is that there was people being interviewed you know, in those caravans, that they were being told to come to the border. Yeah, and that's why when Kamala Harris went down to uh, Guatemala, they was telling her Trump won. Yeah. You see? Yep. They was telling her that, but see, that's not in it. I'm gonna show you the video to where they had up the signs, but I just wanted to come, stack come, come. that on what you was. Come. What you're speaking on. So that's why over there, you know what I'm saying, Guatemala, that's why they had them signs saying, you know, uh, Trump won. Because they know that down there, Trump was the one telling them to come, you know what I'm saying, to come over here to the United States. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get a free visa, okay? Because they interviewed people in the, in the, in the caravans, but of course they're not going to push it in the, in the media over here in the United States. I found clips in it, but in the Spanish channels. Where they were interviewing people with with their cell phones and stuff like that you know what i'm saying it wasn't the media you know what i'm saying and they were saying that basically they were being told to come to the border but trump tells you guys the opposite just to be able to set up the uh the military on the border just to get the military at the border but making you you know what i'm saying making you feel like he's against it he's against it but now nah, he's for it, all right? See, it's a lot of things that goes on behind the scenes uh, that we don't know about. Some okay. things we catch and some things we, we don't catch. But the things that we catch, we are, uh, through the spirit, we are bring it out. But it's a lot of stuff that goes on behind that media, I mean behind the scenes, man, that okay. we don't know. But according to the prophecy, through the spirit, probably y'all about to know shy. Uh, whatever is going to surface according to prophecy to where the brothers can catch it to bring it out, the most high y'all by Shemal Shah will allow it to happen. Okay. He will allow it to surface so we can show you Negro Latinos and Native Americans according to prophecy that the most high is real and he's going to keep his word and he's going to do what he say he's going to do according to scripture. Man. Okay. You see? And that's why, that's why over there in Guatemala, that's why they had that, okay? Because it's all a feather of the same bird. Rather it's so-called Donald Trump or rather it's Biden, they still work underneath the same, you know what I'm saying, people. Yeah, which is okay? controlled by the elite, Come. the banking family. Come. So Trump, what he did when he was in office is, he, you know what I'm saying, he brought them over here, okay? He brought them over here, you know, and, I, and, and they already knew you know what I'm saying? Because they were told, you know what I'm saying, as long as they're underage, you know what I'm saying, they can't do nothing to them. They can't do nothing to them. So that's why you see a whole bunch of migrants and they're all children. But see, you dumbass people here in the United States don't realize that it's all in the plan. They yeah. planned this shit, okay? Yeah. So now they got thousands and thousands of, of so-called migrants, you know what I'm saying? in these cages over here, concentration camps, you know what I'm saying? They got them over here already on this side of the border, okay? So now Biden steps in office, and then he passes, you know what I'm saying, under his administration, uh, he's gonna reunite the families to all these children, you know what I'm saying? So now, they're in the, they're in the U.S. now. You see? You know what I'm saying? They're in the U.S. now. You know what I'm saying? Now they, they get to reunite, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with their families over here. Which that's what they were trying to do from the beginning. And then by the by the so-called migrants, which is the tribe of Israel, okay, coming up, which is the northern kingdom coming up, coming up, they're trying to blame 
the economy, since the so-called migrants are coming up, the economy being destroyed. No, it's been, it's been, it's out of there, man. America been done, man. But they'll try to point the finger at, you know what I'm saying, the Northern Kingdom, as if the Northern Kingdom is a cause, being the children of Israel is a cause, the real children of Israel is a cause of why the economy is in shambles. The devil is something else, man. And see, but, I got, I got, I got the video, some but of some of it, because they cut it. Like I said, the video that I had seen three months ago, I mean, it was a whole 20 minute long video where they're showing, 15, 15, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying, around that, you know, that time where they went to the border. Yeah. And, uh, and you can hear, you can hear, you know what I'm saying, it's a car over there, you know what I'm saying, the so-called cartels mocking, you know what I'm saying, these Edomites on this side, you know, I'm telling them, you know, Viva Biden, because through the, you know, Biden administration, yeah, Viva, Viva would means, you know what I'm saying, like long live, you know what I'm saying? Long live. And uh, so they were saying Viva Biden, you know, long live Biden, because they knew that under the Biden administration, and these are the so-called cartels, they knew that underneath uh, the, the Biden administration, they would be able to bring, you know, children, as long as they were 18 years and younger, you know what I'm saying? Which they doubled the prices, okay? They doubled the prices. They, they charged, you know what I'm saying? You know, they were char charging twice as much, but they were guaranteeing. And that's why that's why the Northern Kingdom, or you know what I'm saying, down there, that's why they weren't fucked up about it. Even though they were doubling up the prices, it was a guaranteed crossing. Yeah, so show you know? Video. Show what you got. So this is, some of it play. this is, uh, it says, uh, Ted Cruz taunted at the U.S. border and this is part of that video and I just couldn't find the, you know, the original. So it's midnight. It's midnight. I'm standing on the shore of the Rio Grande water. It's right behind me. I'm down on the Texas border along with 18 senators who made the trip to see the crisis that is playing out. We've already gone to detention facilities that are overrun. Many of them with families, small children we saw multiple mothers who were nursing infant babies who had just crossed over and were being housed in outdoor holding pens where they were sleeping on the floor and nursing their babies we're at the edge of the river the other side of the river is mexico the other side of the river we have been listening to and seeing cartel members human traffickers right on the other side of the river waving flashlights, yelling and taunting Americans, taunting the Border Patrol, because they know that under the current policy of the Biden administration, they can flood over here. They're getting paid four or $5,000 a person to smuggle them into this country. And our policies, when they smuggle them in, the Biden administration releases them. And more and more and more. Last month, 100,000 people came across the border illegally. We've got 15,000 kids in federal government custody. This is a humanitarian crisis. It's a public health crisis. The illegal immigrants who are being released, they're testing positive for COVID-19 at a seven times higher rate than the American population. And it's a national security crisis. And it's time for the Biden administration to put an end to it and stop sanctioning lawless chaos on our southern border. So there you go feather of the same bird. So, like the brother was saying about that, the video that, it, that was uh, uh, 15 minutes long or 20 minutes long, yeah, he there. couldn't find it. But what he showed you is part of the video that that it was uh, connected to. Come, come. That, that, you know? that's, that, that's the video, but this is only like it was cut. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in that video, they were mocking him. Oh yeah, they were mocking him. You can you can hear, you know, Issachar in the background, you know, doing them, you know, the so-called Native American, you know, screams and stuff, you know, which you know, they were doing that, you know what I'm saying, basically laughing, you know what I'm saying, and saying, you know, Viva Viva Biden, you know, long live Biden. Kind of, is the so-called, uh, I mean, Mexicans is uh, is a cop. That's their nationality in the Bible. They're a tribe of Issachar. Part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Now I'm gonna show you this one with uh Amela Harris. Let's see. 
down there in uh, Guatemala, how they were uh, holding up signs. It's on the New York Post. It says, uh, I'll show it to you. Right? And it says, Guatemala Press blames Biden for border crisis as protesters tell Camilla Harris Trump won. I'm going to play the video, right? See if I can blow it up. I'll just show you. I'll just say. See that they holding up a sign saying Trump won, right? And if it played, here it go. It's trying to go. Let me. Let me fix it. Get it all the way right. Can't, uh, why is this? You can't really hear it, but I want you to see it. See, it says, Camilla Harris, mind, Camilla Harris, mind your own business. It says, Camilla Harris, go home. So, Camilla, Trump won. So see, that was the vibration down there when she went to go visit the, uh, the, uh, the Guatemalan uh, president. See? So they know down there. Okay? But... Even though they saying that on the news, don't come. Let's see what the scriptures say. This is uh, Hosea chapter 9, verse 13. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderers. There you go. Read it one more time, bro. This is Hosea. Chapter 9, verse 13. Okay. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. So when you go read uh, Ezekiel 26 and Ezekiel 28, it'll tell you that uh, Tyrus was beautified. Okay? So what is is comparing Ephraim to Tyrus. Even though Tyrus are, uh, are Hamites, they're Canaanites, what Yahweh Shemal was shot is saying to, uh, to Hosea that when the Most High uh, met Ephraim, Ephraim was beautified. It was beautiful. Okay? It was straight up beautiful. The nation of uh, Ephraim was beautiful. And the, the nation of the, of the ten tribes of Israel was beautiful. Okay? That's what Yahweh Shemesh is saying to Hosea. Okay? When he had planted Ephraim and the ten tribes, it was all beautiful and glorious. Okay? Go ahead. But Ephraim, 
shall bring forth his children to the murderers. It said Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderers. In other words, the northern kingdom is going to continue to come up to America because it's prophecy that the Most High said to Hosea, Ephraim shall bring his children to the murderers. And who the murderers? Esau, Ephraim. Yeah. Well, I, got, I got family members, if I may say, uh, when I went down to Mexico a long time ago, I got family members that were young, you know what I'm saying, that were young, that were around my age at that time. And uh, their dream, you know what I'm saying, was to come to the United States, you know, and I used to always tell them, like, why do you want to go over there? You're more free down here than you would if you would be up there. But they didn't know because they weren't from the United States, you know what I'm saying? And when they started, you know, getting up to age, you know what I'm saying, then they started coming up here, Half of them are locked up, you know what I'm saying? Half of them, you know what I'm saying, they've been in the system, you know what I'm saying? So it's not as, as beautiful as, as what they think, as they think it is, man. Yeah, you know? So, Yahweh Shema was shot is gonna allow them 10 tribes to continue to come up to North America, so to speak, you know, to Babylon, so, they can get murdered, right? Huh?